Hey, good after, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, wherever you are in the world today. Thank you for joining. I'm B-Tech. This is the Balloon Sculptor, and I'm so glad you're here to join us today. So what we're going to cover today is the swan, an elegant looking but very, very simple balloon. It looks great next to fl balloon flowers. It looks next to or holding a heart. There's a lot of different things you can do with it, and it's just very classic. This, again, this is one of those balloons that have been around since balloon animals have been around. I don't even know if anyone knows when the first balloon swan was made. If you do and you're a historian, please let me know. I'm very curious. I know that those who have been around 30 years before me have uh, were doing it well when they started. So it's been a long time. So let me show you what a swan looks like, and then we're going to make it together. So the interesting thing about a swan is it's actually made in reverse. So we start off with the back of the swan and go forward. And just like that, we're almost done already. One last little thing here. We're going to massage the neck of the swan, stretching out a little bit while we do that. Give it a shape. Put it in its place, and just like that, we have a swan. So let's do that together. All this is stuff that we've either already done in some of the other balloon little tutorials, or there are things that we've learned in our balloon techniques playlist, all except one thing, which is how to curve the neck. So let's do all this together now. So we're going to have a, our balloon with about, oh, about a five to seven finger width neck or tail. See, just like that. Because we want that long beak. We're going to make about a one finger bubble. This is going to be the back end of this one. Kind of holds everything together. We're going to then make a nice side loop. And we're going to make another loop that's just slightly smaller than it. Just slightly. And you'll see why in a minute, moment. So, give you an idea of size. When they're in half, it's going to be about a five finger bubble for the shorter one. So that would be about 10 fingers long. And this one's about a six, maybe seven. So that's gonna be about 12 to 14 fingers. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our longer one and we're gonna roll it. So what that means is we're gonna take one side of the bubble and we're gonna roll it one way and the other one we're gonna roll the other. So it's gonna be kind of like a twisty motion. And what that does is you don't need to do it for much, but you're going to get a nice little crease. Once you get that crease, you're going to go just a little bit farther, and you're going to get that joint. And that's what we're looking for. That's going to be the joint for our wings. Now, we're going to take our smaller loop, and we're going to take this part and just slide it through. So I'm going to open up this bubble. And this is similar to our roll through technique. But we're not going to go all the way through. There, just like that. See? Just sticks out a little bit. Now, if you want to make that bubble longer, make longer tails or longer feathers and wings, go for it. So, now what I'm going to do is this little bubble here. I'm going to do my my favorite, my ear twist. And I'm going to just twist that in there. Take that nozzle, wrap it around. So this is, it's kind of cool. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be stretching the outside of the balloon while keeping the inside part of it nice and tight so that when you let go, the bubble 
will want to stay like that. The balloon will want to follow the airflow. So let me show you. You're going to bend the neck. You're going to give it a little squeeze. You're going to squeeze it a couple times. Just like that. Okay. And see how it turns? You can do it a little bit more. A little, a little bit higher. So you can kind of work that neck. And if you want then, you can just do one of these numbers. Here. Slide it up and down. And that will give you the neck. Now what we're going to do, we're going to open up this area again just a little bit and slide that neck in. What we're doing is right here, we want to kind of pinch the base of the neck to hold it into place. See how it holds it? And just like that, we have our swan. Now, if you want to do more with the neck, you want to be more aggressive, you can be give it a nice good squeeze, give it more defined shape. And just like that, we have our swan. So, just remember, a smile is free. I think you only takes a moment, but a word of encouragement at the right time can change your life. Until next time, keep on twisting and adios.